I'm going on holiday. Woo! I am literally going on holiday today. We are setting off in a couple of hours to head to the airport and I've just whipped around and watered all of the plants and I haven't done anything particularly special for them. And I'm going away, going away for a week and it is gonna be hot here in the UK. And I am a bit worried because you probably know the apartment gets very, very hot with our south facing windows in the summer. So they're gonna to have to survive without me for a week. So I've given everyone a really good water possibly a bit more than they necessarily needed, but I'm just, I'm hoping I don't come back to loads of root rot and I just come back to happy plants. When I was going around, there are some exciting things happening. So I just want to like capture them now. And then I'm gonna show you them again when I get back to see what the change is. I feel like I'm really shiny. I'm very hot. <laughs> but yeah, I've got some like new leaves that are coming out that are really exciting. And like, I'm sad I won't get to like see them develop over this week, but I'm excited to see what they look like when I come back. I'm hoping it all looks good <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna show you some of those things now first of all this monstera is doing really well not much happening with it but this one started to get these yellow tips here even though the substrate was wet and i was like what is going on why is it looking like it's really dry even though it's not and then i realized that it's pushing out a new leaf even though the caterpillar looked like it had died don't know if you saw, I can't remember which video it was, maybe May updates, I said that I think this one's going to just abort the leaf. But the new leaf is coming out and that makes more sense because it's obviously using more to work on this. So that is exciting. I cannot wait to see what that looks like when I get back next week. A little update on the new Albo leaf that I showed you last time. This isn't, it's not completely hardened off yet, but it's very nearly and I think I will finally do the chop when I am back from holiday. Ignore the state of the apartment, it is really messy. So you know, we're going on holiday, there's chaos everywhere. But this is the new Thai leaf that's been coming out. How pretty is it? It's gonna be stunning. I can't wait to see it when I get back and hopefully it'll have like, like grown up a little bit, like, cause it's still very much in the, um, the previous petioles. So I'm hoping it'll be out a little bit more, but it's, it looks like it's gonna be beautiful. I'm sorry, I know you can hear all the, uh, like chaos that's going on outside. Here is my philodendron 69686. I just want to update you on this leaf. Look at the size of it. This was the leaf that came out before it. I can't really get it to like be up next to it, but it's huge. Like if I put it up against my arm, you can see how big that leaf is. Isn't it amazing? I love this plant. Love, love, love this plant. On the shelves, this is my Anthurium Magnificum Verde. I don't really know, I think it was a humidity thing. It kind of got a little bit crinkled here and a little bit whoop, loopy at the bottom. It is starting to harden off. It's gone from the bright red color and it's gonna fade to green. This was the previous leaf, which is obviously dying, but it's a significantly sized up. So I'm very happy about that. This was the Anthurium Palladiflorum leaf. It is I think it is starting to work on a new leaf there, so I'll be excited to see that. My Thematophyllum sprucianum is pushing out a new leaf currently. Um, what else do I want to show you? This is the Monstera deliciosa brazilian common form new leaf. The Anthurium argirio statum yasuni is starting to do some stuff with this pole, so I'm excited to see what happens with that whilst I'm gone. We head into the cabinet. My queen. I'm really, really sad that I'm not gonna get to see this queen's leaf kind of harden and grow over the next week. I think I'm gonna have to move it because it is literally touching the ceiling. So I'm gonna have to do some rearranging before I go. Uh, whew, another thing to do before I leave. I just can't wait to see that when I come back. I feel like it's gonna be a big one. Um, this leaf has hardened off and is looking cute. I don't think there's anything else happening between there. Nope. Um, the Anthurium forgetii is pushing out a new leaf here and a new bloom as well. So I'll be excited to see those when I get back. My Hoya Dekie is pushing out oh, two new leaves there and I feel like they're not going to survive, but I've given it I've like filled up the water reservoir. 
my Hoya Obavata is also pushing out a new leaf. Both the ones that were coming out there just died. I don't really know what happened. I think it, maybe I've let it dry out. I don't know. But there's another one there. So hopefully, I don't know, hopefully they'll both be okay. This is the grow tent that you never really see on this channel. But um, I'm just showing you a couple of things in here. This Anthurium Velvet Moira has bloomed and I've collected the pollen, which is very exciting. My Hoya, oh, what is this called? Katzbergii, I think, is working on new leaves at the moment. One there, one there, and one there. And I think this little nubbin thing here is gonna turn into a new leaf too. And I've given that one a really good drink for the same reasons as the other one. I've got some new leaves here on these little baby anthurium seedlings. This is where I'm keeping my, I'm keeping my, uh, what is this called? Brain. Dioscoria discolor in here. And I think it's really, really, really enjoying it. Can't really get it to focus very well. Sorry, I think it's because of the grow tent lights. But it's doing some growing, really happy. And something that I'm really, really excited about is that this is where my Florida Beauty has been sat. And it's finally, oh sorry, it's finally pushing out a new leaf. So I can't wait to see that like fully out and turned off when I get back. Look how cute. So I have got the, um, the grow tent actually on a timed plug socket <clears throat> just because obviously if I switch the lights off and then leave them off, then It'll, they, all those plants will be in darkness for a whole week, which I don't want. So they are on a time plug socket. I haven't done that for my plants in here. I'm just gonna risk it and see what happens. So I'm gonna go now. I will probably try and film some clips whilst I'm away. So I will see you when I'm on holiday and I will see you when I get back. Fingers crossed that the plants survive and there's no, not too many casualties. Fingers crossed. Outside of our hotel is this amazing cactus. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And there's this guy here. He's huge. And then next to the cactus, sorry about the dogs, there is a bird of paradise in bloom. Oh, and then there's this massive cactus that I always miss. Amazing. Hello, I'm home and I have got some really exciting updates to show you and one of them you can kind of see just here poking out my Monstera. I'm, I'll show you that in a minute. I'm so relieved and surprised about how well everything's done. I think, I think there's just like one kind of set of casualties 
I'll show you those in a little bit but I'm I'm really surprised everything looks as good as it does so we got back early hours this morning I've had, given everyone a drink and I'm really pleased with how they've survived it got to like I think there was a day when there was like 30 degrees outside so in here it would have probably been more like 35 because everything was shut up um but I'm really impressed that they've managed to just survive without me let's get on with the updates look at it oh my goodness I am I'm so excited I love the way that this leaf is coming in it's going to fill this gap so beautifully and i think it's going to be a decent size as well when i cut it i thought that leaf was going to be small but like it's got the mid rib fenestrations and it's got the little like the i don't know like the half splits like there's one on this one like where there's like a half split at the end and it's got one two three four four of those that's the most I've had on a leaf I think I'm really impressed I'm so excited to see it kind of stretch out and fill in that gap I'm so excited and the one next to it that isn't wasn't doing anything has really um it's moved <laughs> like these leaves were not positioned like this before and I think I think can you see this like slightly lighter bit Kind of on this caterpillar, I, I think something might be happening because often the leaves will move as they make way for a new leaf. So I, I think, if not, I don't really know what's going on, but it's um, it seems happy enough. So, <laughs> so my Thai constellation leaf hasn't come out the way I thought it would. Like it's still, let's see if I can show you. It's still very much in this castle like it's not come out and extended the stem yet and i'm i don't really understand why but it's pretty pretty hard now i'd say but how perfectly stunning is that so here's the cabinet everything's looking kind of okay the one i was most shocked about was actually my magnificent verde so i think i said before that there's a an old leaf back there that's been crisping and dying up for ages this one has been kind of shifting and changing colour for a while, and this one was new. But the size up, compared to before I left, is huge. I was not expecting that at all. Like, it's so big, and compared to the previous leaf, it's massive. Absolutely huge. And it's, it's not completely hardened off yet, but it's, it's beautiful. I... I love the veining it's so electric on this plant it's just so incredibly bright I'm excited about this size and I don't really know what I did to make it size up so much but I'm happy <laughs> so there's that one it looks like the way it bobs around it's like the leaf is really weighty for the petiole <laughs> I really like it <laughs> through here you can see my Anthurium arduous statum the bottom cutting that I cut and it didn't have any like any leaves on it has put out this growth point and that new leaf how exciting is that i love that little leaf so much i think it's quite mature considering the size of it and the top cut of it is also putting out a new leaf which i'm very excited about my hoya polyneura is just doing the most right now we've got like a new growth point here there's a new set of leaves back here. There's a new, well, this whole section's a new growth point. New little ones coming in there. I'm so excited to have this one be a big bushy Hoya again. It, it's it been through a bit of a journey with mealybugs and stuff. So I'm really happy to finally have that growing. Here is my green fry deck, my, my Alocasia Michalipsiana Maxkowskii. This is a dead, plant that was pretty dead before I left. <laughs> my Albo Syngonium is putting out loads of really white leaves but look at the like so this is a bottom cutting it's not doing really bad focusing today I think it's the light so this is a bottom cutting and like look at the white patch on the bottom cutting it's 
completely like translucent. Like, you can see my finger through it. How weird is that? I thought it was to do with watering, but it stays like that all the time. Like you can see I've given it a water and this one's doing it. But this one never goes back to being like white. Really strange. Um, I got distracted by my Syngonium, but also I need to update you on the fact that my Green Friday is growing back. So I chopped this one back completely. Um, and this is a new leaf from like the kind of main big cutting. And to my horror, I think, it's flowering. What is that about? I don't want flowers, I want leaves. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know what, I don't know what to do about that. We've got two corms here as well that have started growing. That's a whole mess. I definitely need to do something about it. Um, I just haven't yet. Um, oh, oh, look, the Clarinervium. If you've watched this video, you will know that I chopped it back. It was really dramatic. Some people commented saying it wasn't, it wasn't a good idea. Like I shouldn't have done that, but look. We have a new leaf coming. It's showing me it's happy. I am really hopeful that it's gonna be like, it's just gonna be happy now. I probably do need to move it. Obviously it's doing, um, I mean, it's kind of growing upside down. <laughs> I will need to move it, but I'm just so happy to see that new leaf. But down here is where we have the casualty. This is my Hoya Carei propagations. And for some reason, <laughs> Um, all of the leaves have come off. <laughs> well, not all of them, but it's like they just, they just like they just gave up. The stems aren't um, rotting. Like it kind of looks like it rotted, like it is soft, but the stems aren't rotted. Hang on. See, it's like the stems okay, but the rest of the leaf isn't. And they've all done that apart from this one. So there was another one in there. You can see this stump here. That's one of its leaves there. And the other one's down there. So like, why, why did that stump die? But this one has remained okay. I don't really understand. I probably need to like pull it out and have a look to see if there's any roots developing. Um, but yeah, not great. Oh, there's a fungus net in there, fantastic. I guess I've still got the mother plant, the one that I chopped everything off of, but I'm a little bit gutted about that because I was looking forward to having some really beautiful Hoya Carey eyes. The micans in the back seem to be okay. Oh, and I've just noticed this pink princess, which I've absolutely, absolutely been ignoring and just chucking some water in every now and then, has some new leaves growing. There must be a pup or something in there. That's interesting. Hmm. That was a very new discovery. Looks like there might be actually some pink on that pup leaf as well. Hmm. Right, let's have a look in the cabinet. So, you can see my new queen leaf. I'm really surprised that she's done so well. I did quickly move her down because she was higher up. Um, she's wider than the previous one and the sinus is wider as well. You can see that there. I, she's still a bit floppy. I, I don't know how affected she was. I don't know if she's gonna keep stretching out a bit. I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm so impressed that she's still okay. I've got this new forgetty eye leaf here, which is cute. It is, I mean, it's a bit wonky. I don't really know how it's gonna finish growing, but I'm excited, I'm excited to see that. I think that is it for like new exciting leaves for the anthuriums. There isn't too much going on on the lower shelf. My philendron florida ghost pushed out a new leaf and so did my Roberta beauty. So they're doing okay. I probably, definitely need to um, do something with my jewel orchids. <laughs> really definitely need to do that. <laughs> and I saw something, I can't remember which video it was in, but I was saying, I don't really know what's happening with this um, Anthurium Hoekslens 
leaf like this keeps happening it keeps kind of I don't know browning like this and I couldn't I wasn't completely sure but I think I figured it out and I think it's where the plant takes up too much water and then it, the cells kind of burst and it leaves like these weird like it almost looks like thrips damage but it isn't there's no thrips on this plant in this cabinet so it's interesting I will keep an eye on it but I think that might be what that is I think look how disgusting these cabinets are god it's so straight like I'm, I can see it I can see it I know it but I kind of ignore it and then when it's suddenly on camera I'm like oh my god that is gross <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> Guess I'll definitely be doing a bit of a cabinet clean reorganising video soon. And I know I gave you a few little updates on the plants in the grow tent. Obviously these are just, they're just kind of abandoned in here and I care for them sporadically, but the puppy inflow has died off. So yeah you can see the puppy inflow has died off i did collect some more pollen from it so i'm hopeful that at some point i can use that it's it's a puppy hybrid but i think it's a velvet moira um this was another puppy hybrid this was the previous leaf and now there's this one this one's always thrown out these weird it almost looks like blisters it's so so bizarre i don't know what causes them but they're like it's almost silvery i'll try and get a like a good clear photo up close because it's really interesting but i'm intrigued by how this hybrid of whatever it is is growing the sinus is very interesting it's got like a fused bit and then it splits fascinating so I gave you an update on my Hoya Katzbergii, which is doing really well. These two leaves and then this one were new when I was leaving. And here there is a little, ooh, little bump there and a little one there where there's new leaves coming. And what's really interesting is up here, there's some roots trying to, oh, that's not focusing, is it because of the light? But that's some <laughs> roots trying to like, I don't know, reach for the light very uh definitely taking up the space it won't if i'll be able to show you oh i can sort of this green bit oh not my cable tie this green thing here is that hoya <laughs> speaking of hoyas in front of it i've got my hoya meridithii and that has wrapped around this trellis and come up here and is twirling around this bit of rope <laughs> How funny is that? But I'm happy to let it and then I'll kind of figure out how to get it off because I want I want it to start developing leaves and Hoyas need that kind of need to know something's there to cling on to to develop leaves. When I opened the tent and saw this leaf, I gasped. Like <laughs> how stunning is that Dioscoria discolour no discolour what? Dioscoria discolour? That's the name, right? How stunning is that leaf? It's such a deep purple and like, look at the back. How gorgeous is that color? The other leaf was a little bit deformed. I think that was in there when I, um, when I was leaving, but there's so many new growth points on here. I am so excited. Oh my God, look at that color. <gasps> oh my God, wow. I'm so excited about it. And look at that little leaf. It's beautiful. I'm, I love this plant. I want it to take over this grow tent and I think it probably will. <laughs> and the other one I think I showed you was my Florida Beauty and this leaf was on its way out. And I mean, <laughs> look at that shape. The variegation is a gorgeous color. The shape is hilarious. And there is a new caterpillar there, which is much longer than the previous one. So I'm overall very happy with that growth. I have really struggled with the Florida Beauty, so I'm really happy that it's finally starting to do do some growing. I'm actually really impressed with how that timer was working. Like I could check on it on the app on my phone and I could see that it was going off at the time that I set it to go off and it was turning on at the time that I wanted it to turn on. 
and I think I'm going to get one for in the living room as well just so that we don't have to like keep bending down turning on plugs blah, blah, blah. like you know it just happens automatically um I will have it linked down below I was really impressed like obviously it's going to cost more than a normal plug like extension but I think that's worth it like <laughs> it was so easy to set up and it was just peace of mind as soon as I knew that it was working so there are some ones that will not work unless your phone is connected to the same wi-fi as the plug so I was worried that when I was over in Ibiza it wasn't going to work for some reason but it did it worked so I'm really happy about that so yeah I will have it down below I think it was like 24 pounds maybe okay. it'll be linked check that out I think that's going to be the majority of my updates for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have come back and I've realised that I've got so much to do. So many chores to do. I've got so much repotting. I've got moss poles to make. I've got to clean the cabinet and the shelves and rearrange them. There is so much to do and that means there's so much content to make and I am excited. So if you are intrigued and you don't want to miss it, please do subscribe if you're not already. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.